Hey, Virgo Summit Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for April 18th, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more on my website, tarotbarbie.com. Uh, happy Easter, Virgos. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. <sighs> Let's get it, Virgos. Coming in with the Empress, Three of Cups, and the Ace of Swords, Virgos. It looks like you guys are sitting down and healing yourselves. Their angels are telling you guys, Virgos, don't even worry about it. Just sit in your throne. Be the Empress or the Emperor that you genuinely are, and angels are going to take care of whatever it is that is hindering you at the moment. There could be a group of people who are talking about you, gossiping about you at the moment here. There should have been somebody here that was supposed to be protecting you, Virgos, and they should never have said anything about you with the Four of Pentacles, but they spoke about you. This is going to be, this is somebody who's very childish, who's very immature, but they were also, they should have also defended you, which they did not do that with the King of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups in reverse. You guys are healing yourselves. Angels are saying, hey, we're going to take care of it. We see what these people are doing, Empress uh, Temperance card, and we're going to be taking care of it for you, all right? You guys have so much victory. You guys have the truth, and you guys have the clarity. Because you guys work from a genuine place in your heart with the Ace of Swords, you guys have a lot of happiness coming towards you. All your wishes are going to be fulfilled, and the universe is coming to bless you guys up, Virgo's Ace of Cups. You're going to be very much so overwhelmed with the amount of blessings that the universe has that's coming towards you. So congratulations for that, Virgos. Congratulations for staying in your powers. Congratulations for sitting in your throne and not indulging in other people's bullshit. Uh, God is absolutely seeing everything. Angels are on your side, and they absolutely support you, Virgos. The Fool card, Seven of Pentacles, and the Hierophant there, all right? So... <clears throat> You definitely have somebody here who's sitting there watching you, maybe even watching your money as well with the Hierophant, Seven of Pentacles, and the Fool card. This person is a fool for what they've done. They should never have done whatever it was that they were trying to do. Fool card, Virgos, they're about to fuck themselves up. You guys have also caught this person or are about to. This person is definitely exposed with the Seven of Swords in reverse. This person was talking a lot of crap about you, Virgos. The Ten of Wands and the Justice card, they have nothing but bad karma coming back towards them. They're going to fill with so much obstacles, calamity, stress. They're going to be at a huge loss in every area of their life. This person's going to be losing a lot of money. This person's also blocked from a lot of their monies now. So if this person here runs a business, they're not going to have a business anymore. If this person here was suffering, uh, wanted you to suffer in some sort of way when it comes to your finances, they're not going to have any any finances whatsoever, Virgos. This, these people are talking about your recognition. They're talking about this, the the how popular you are. They're talking about your recognition. They're talking about how people uh, adore you. They like you. This is how they're talking about you. Uh, but it's a lot of selfish and a lot of jealousy too. You guys got a lot of jealous people here around you. So whatever it is that you guys are trying to accomplish, whatever your goals are, it's saying that these people are jealous of you, Virgos. You guys are going to leave these people behind and continue to manifest. Someone here is also using magic Virgos to... So that way you don't become popular. So that way you don't become recognized. Somebody here does not want you to be successful at all. Um, but regardless, so they are going to be, they, you're very good at what it is that you do, Virgo. So <laughs> whatever you guys choose to do in the long run on people who are trying to fuck you up with magic, it's saying here in a way for the ones who do do it, Virgos, do your thing do your thing angels are supporting you at this point uh because they know that you're not doing nothing wrong you're the empress upright you would never go out of your way to hurt anybody but somebody here is going out of their way and doing much more than they should be and for that you guys are skilled you guys are good at what it is that you guys do this person is going to be put at a huge block with a death card there virgos it's an ending for these people for uh for the way that they have done you and treated you <clears throat> This person might be in a relationship with somebody else at the moment with the Sun card to the Lover's card, Leo, Gemini energy, Taurus, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, maybe even a Pisces as well. Uh, but regardless of Virgo, somebody here wants to come in. They want to confess something to you. They want to even say, they also want to speak to you as well. You guys are going to probably meet up with this person so that way they can talk to you and tell you exactly what's going on. Maybe to make amends uh, for what they've done or for what they've brought into your life. Um, they're wrong for whatever it is that they did, Virgos. Uh, page of Cups, Page of Pentacles as well. So you guys are going to be speaking to this person. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well, Virgos, all right? But it doesn't look like you guys are going to want to put any more effort into this person. You guys are seems like you guys are seeing this person for exactly who they are. So even if they come in with an apology uh, and, and trying to apologize to you for what they've done, uh, it looks like the relationship might potentially be simply over to a Cups in Reverse. Um, it is not a good relationship, Virgo. This person might be very much so two-faced with the moon card, two of cups. 
They are going to be very much so uh, emotionally upset as well. This person's going to lose a lot of their manifestations just for the fact that they may have gossiped about you to somebody who would have been very much so jealous of you uh, and that was not the right thing for them to do. They should have protected you a little bit more when this person was around when this person was around them for that they're going to lose everything nine of cups in reverse you guys were very loyal to this person and very very trustworthy when it came to this person but this person is this relationship cannot be fixed uh, there's too much darkness too much secrets too much illusion and two of cups in reverse virgos it's not going to end up happening at this point here as uh, during the full moon energy you guys are going to start seeing something for what it is when it comes to this relationship with the two of cups to the moon card it's saying that your intuition is not wrong. Uh, you know exactly what this connection is. And if you feel like that this person is too much involved with other people who are gossiping about you, then you have every right to put an end to it. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. All right. So Virgos, <laughs> the universe is coming in to hand issue this person their tower. They deserve it. Uh, tower card, the World card, and the Ace of Pentacles. And the world is coming in and hand issuing you your Ace of Pentacles for what these people have done to you and whatever this person has done to you to this lover, this friend, whoever this person is for you guys. They are going through so much stress. They're going through so much guilt. They're going through so much entrapment. The world is, the, the universe is stepping in uh, with the world card to the ace of wands, stepping in and hand issuing this, uh, hand issuing their karma, uh, which is going to be a lot of misery, a lot of calamity. Um, People need to be very much so careful when they when they are when they have somebody who is very good to them, and then they go out of the behind their back and start backbiting and talking shit, gossiping to people that they shouldn't be talking to. They should have protected you, which they did not. And if you guys got hit with any type of magic in any way here, Virgos, it's saying that this person would be the root to the problem. So for that, they get the tower, they get the nine of swords, and they also get the eight of swords. They are stressed, fearful, trapped. They cannot function properly with the eight of swords to the nine of swords they're having a lot of sleepless nights maybe even a lot of dreams as well but the universe is coming in and hand issuing that to them um the universe has your back virgos ace of wands ace of pentacles and this person is going to be going through severe uh stress a severe depression as well and that's because you guys are going to be turning your back on this person once you guys know that this person is getting their karma you're not going to want nothing to do with this when a person like this gets their karma to this extent it's because the universe is showing you that, you know what, you were a good person to this to this specific individual and <clears throat> you did everything right. You were a great, wonderful lover. You were a great friend. You were loyal. There was nothing wrong on your part. You did everything correct. But then this person went ahead and did something behind your back, which the universe caught on. And then from there, the universe gave, the, the universe said, green light. <laughs> Uh, nine of swords eight of swords Virgo so for that now they have to suffer uh, they may have been doing this for a while but uh, the green light has come in ace of pentacles and uh, now this person is being tormented by their own thoughts and a lot of confusion paranoia stress fear uh, guilt regret remorse depression sadness and a lot of tears the whole world is flipping upside down at the moment and uh and you guys are ready to move on with your life three of wands virgos you guys have a big decision you're going to have to make as well when it comes into the future maybe you guys need to be more selective when you guys have friends or lovers that come into your energy virgos uh but at the end of the day you're stepping into your power you guys are so loving and so beautiful sweeties and this person's going to try and come back towards you guys again to apologize to you maybe even give you a gift at the same time but i mean your sword is up you're becoming very much so defensive and you are the high priestess. You're all knowing Virgos. There's nothing that anybody can say and do to you. Even if they lie to you, Virgos, you'll be like, yeah, all right, cool. I know you're lying to me, but at the same time, I'm not going to say nothing. High priestess, because I don't need, I don't need confronta confront so confrontations. So you guys might be trying to avoid confrontations. So you guys like not really saying a whole lot, but you also know the truth at the same time. You guys are very loyal. You guys are honest, Virgos. You guys are light workers. You would never do people the way that these, this, this, this specific people have done you. And they also don't know who they're messing with, High Priestess. Uh, they are going to try and come back towards you, sweeties. But it doesn't look like you guys are going to say anything back to this person when they come back towards you guys. Uh, just because of the way that they've done you wrong and they may have lied to you too. Um, however, though, even if they do lie, Virgos, it's like, okay, I, I know you're lying to me. But you know what? I'm not going to say nothing because you guys don't want to start confrontation. You're not, you're, not, you're not down for the drama. You're not down for the beef. So for that, uh, you guys are going to continue to keep to yourselves. High Priestess, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgos.
Somebody's sword is right up, all right? Yeah, somebody's in a very dark place at the moment with a devil card to the four of swords. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who might be going through a little bit of stuff at the moment. They definitely have uh, an entity on them right now, Virgos. <sighs> and you guys are very well aware of this. Um, you guys are fighting. You guys are protecting yourselves. You're going to do whatever it is that you have to do. You guys are still very loving and very beautiful and very much so honest as well, sweeties. You guys are going to do what you need to do to fight, to protect yourself, to keep it moving. There's nothing in the world that's going to stop you at all. No no entity, no magic, no buddy, no gossip, no fake friends, no two faces. Nothing's going to stop you from getting to where it is that you need to be in this life. Uh, and for that, uh, you guys are going to continue to move on. There is definitely a hating ass Gemini Libra Aquarius who sits there and watches you all the time. This person has become obsessed with you as well, Virgos, and it's kind of frightening. Maybe this person needs to go to some sort of mental rehab, uh, some sort of psych ward for swords, or maybe this person is going to end up in jail as well. Uh, uh, the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm. This sounds like a cross watcher read, Virgos. For the one that's not doing good too too good by you guys at the moment. Um, there's gonna be an Aries Leo Sagittarius who's very much so heartbroken at the moment. Ah, you guys might end up reaching out to this person or talking to them too, but this person's definitely a player. They cause a lot of pain. Um, and they cause a lot, they're just very selfish at the same time, chariot card, they're always on the move, they're always on the go, they're always looking for the next thing to do, five of pentacles, nine of pentacles, Virgos, you guys are going to, you guys, some of you guys go from zero to a hundred real quick, a lot of you guys may have been going through a little bit of financial difficulties at the moment, which brought you guys a lot of heartache and a lot of sadness, um, but because you guys are so motivated, because you guys continue to prosper, because you guys continue to stay resilient, you guys are going to speed up and it's going to go right into the Nine of Pentacles. You guys go from rags to riches, <laughs> literally rags to riches, Virgos, uh, rags to riches, Nine of Pentacles. You guys have nothing to worry about. You guys' money's going to start picking up a lot more faster for you guys. So congratulations for being able to stay on top of your game. Congratulations for not indulging with low vibrational energies and congratulations for keeping your, uh, for, for being a fighter and congratulations as well virgos because your spirit guys your ancestors the universe this is the you have so many tasks that you had to go through and had to endure with a lot of people around you guys who continue to try to stop you hinder you and and all because of jealousy and and as much as I don't want to say it like that, but they have every reason to be jealous of you because you, the motivation that you have within you, they lack that. And that's exactly why they try and hinder you in every single way, Virgos. Uh, five of Pentacles, you guys go from rags to riches. So good for you guys for being able to do that. You guys need to just make sure you guys take care of yourself, cleanse yourself from all the damage that this person has caused you, Ten of Swords. But don't worry, Virgos, the wheel is coming in for you guys. So you guys have a lot of uh, felicity fortune, riches coming towards you guys as well. So very good Virgos, all right? You guys can are going to get up, start doing your own thing. You guys just need to probably cleanse yourself and detox yourself as well with this with the star card. There is going to be an Aquarius who's going to be suffering really, really badly, Virgos. This is a karmic cycle that this person is going to have to repeat in the next life as well with the Star Card, Ten of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. They fucked with the wrong person. So for that, this person is going to have to repeat the this same life that we are in right now, they're going to have to redo this exact same life in the next life, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, that's their karma. They they are repeating karmic cycles that they're not learning from. And for that, uh, Ten of Swords, Virgos, they're going to be they're gonna, the exact same pain that they tried to bring towards you. Uh, the universe is going to come in. Uh, They've written it. They've written it down that this person, that this Aquarius, has done something very, very bad. Not just one time, Virgos. About ten times that this person actually goes and betrays a lot of people behind their back and acts like they're so sweet and they're so innocent. But karma sees everything. The universe sees everything, and that's why the universe is coming in and kicking ass on that nine of swords to the eight of swords. Unfortunately, it is what it is, Virgos. There's nothing you can do to uh, when you're when you're a good person. You always feel also feel sorry for your enemies and people who are so bad on you. Never change who you are. This is something that they're going to have to learn them themselves because this is a karmic contract that they had to that they put themselves in and then they because they did something bad, they're going to have to repeat that cycle all over again. There could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius who's paying attention to you at the moment Virgo. Some of you guys may not even realize it. You guys are paying attention to yourself. Um but they are thinking about you as well. This person might be thinking of coming back towards you guys. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this person might be blocked at the moment, not knowing what to do, maybe even also very much so indecisive as well. 
uh, Virgos, but you guys are your, in your hermit, reflecting, doing your thing. At the end of this month, you guys are going to try and make a decision, or this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn is going to be making a decision, Virgos, to come back towards you guys and hope that you guys are going to be getting it together and um, reuniting with each other as well. But, my loves, guess what? Congratulations once again, Virgos. This is like, you know, you guys, up and down energy, but you know what? They should, they, they're a hater. They're a hater, Virgos. So, when you guys were in the Five of Pentacles, suffering financial loss and everything like this, the universe is coming in. You're getting your strength back. You're taking your power back as well. Nothing's going to be able to hinder you anymore, Virgos. You guys kept staying head down, working, hustling, doing your thing. You guys got prosperity to the Ten of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. That's your prosperity. Six of Pentacles is prosperity. The universe is going to balance everything out for you. For every dollar that you have lost, for every client that you have lost, for every whatever, whatever you did, whatever happened with your finances that came to a complete ending or a complete loss for you guys, Virgos, the universe is going to take you literally from rags to riches. You may have been having to ask people for help, asking people for money, whatever. Now you don't even have to do that. The universe is coming in and they're going to just pour money all over you. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. You guys are going to be so much more financially stable. This is a lot of money that's coming towards you guys. Virgos. There's no break. The money is just going to start flowing, flowing, flowing right into your hands. And that's because you guys continue to put in the work. And you guys are taking action and 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 gonna, and gonna start moving a lot more. Uh, there's gonna be judgment being called in on a Gemini Libra Aquarius for trying to attack your business, for trying to attack your workplace, for trying to attack your money too. Uh, but the spirits are staying off with their head. Uh, their spirits, car, spirits, angels, divine. The higher realm are coming in to destroy this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, you guys are going to continue to stand in your power. You have much more happiness, much more emotional fulfillment coming towards you guys. This person is the same shit that they persons tried to fuck you up with, Virgos. They're going to be hung. They're, they, they, they screw themselves up. Now, they're, now it's their turn to feel the stagnation. Now it's their turn to feel like they can't move in life. Now it's their turn that they're not going to be able to get going and move anywhere. Like their whole life is going to go to a complete pause. That's it. Throop. Bye. Complete pause, Virgos. Uh, the universe is coming in to uh, give you a gift and it's going to be very favorable for you guys, Virgos. A lot of people are going to be trying to fight with you, bullshit with you, cause drama for you. But whatever they do onto you, Virgos, it will always find its way back onto them. Thanks, cuties. Bye.